So with JBoss, we've been actively involved in the rules community uh, for a long time. We have a, an open source project called Drools. We're taking that and wrapping around it uh, other layers of technology to turn it from a, just a rules engine to a full business rules management system. And in particular, what we're adding to the rules engine is a repository that uh, is the, is the, is the uh, source of truth, the, the foundation for the metadata and the process of rules that you're codifying. And then a set of Web 2.0 interfaces that are authoring version control management tools that enable you to then update these things and not be a Java developer. What you often see for, for organizations that have hard-coded rules or not even hard-coded rules where the rules are really in people's heads, where the business knowledge and the business assets are actually in the business people's heads, and that's a fairly common thing to find in a lot of small to medium organizations. And then if they're a large organization, you'll find that it's actually in their COBOL code or their PHP code or their Java code and scattered throughout their different applications. So the challenge is often coming up with a way to deploy a new business rule system at the same time keeping those existing systems in, in uh, working order. So what you'll see is that people will uh, spend a lot of time in their business analysis phase, actually defining the business rules, documenting the business rules, capturing that in a way inside the repository so that everybody can at least work on that common asset. The fact that we accept mortgages and we want a mortgage applicant to look like X, Y, and Z before we actually approve that mortgage, the act of documenting that is of significant value to an organization all by itself. Creating and codifying that specific business rule and then providing an environment where you can actually make it visible, make it highly accessible, making it versioned in case someone wants to change it is also incredibly powerful. And I think the, the nice thing about uh, the tooling that we've created around that is that through a simple point and click, you can just kind of click your way through changing your entire policy, changing, changing the way applicants are evaluated, changing the way policies are priced, changing the way patients are evaluated, changing the way um, reporting is done within the organization, uh, changing the way work is routed and load balanced throughout an organization. All of those things can be changed with a few points and clicks within the user interface now. We're going to dramatically improve the productivity at price points and configurability points that just don't exist in the industry today. And we're going to come in on a subscription basis where you don't have the CapEx expenditure up front rather than you, use, you, know, you pay for what you use. And, and it drives us to deliver a higher quality experience because of the subscription nature and the motivations and, uh, that, that uh, encourage us to deliver high quality code, high quality support, high quality service. From a price point standpoint, the average developer, the average person, the average business analyst didn't even have access to this technology. We've now made it a price point through the open source community that means you can actually uh, start your project with it, you can acquire it very easily, and it makes us focus on offering tr you know, fantastic services around that, whether it be support or consulting or training and helping you with your implementation. You can now focus all your assets and energy on the project that you specifically want to execute on without spending a ton of money up front.